Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video, of course subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do uploads weekly. And of course, go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below, but you already know why you're here. Okay, so I had a lot going on in April and May and now it's the middle of June and I'm able to bring you all three boxes from Allure. We have the April Allure box, so you guys can actually see. We have the May Allure box, and we also have the June Allure box. So these boxes are gonna be $15 a month, guys. But from time to time, you wanna take a step back and take an assessment of your subscription plan. Sometimes subscription plans can be very, very good for you, and sometimes subscription plans could actually turn out to be a waste of money. Of course, during your first month subscribing to Alert Beauty Box, if you use my code, you'll get a free gift and also $5 off your first month's box. So it'll be $10 for your first month, plus you'll get a free gift. But what I'm holding in my hand is $45 worth of spending. Was these three boxes worth $45? Is it something that I'm going to continue to do for you guys? Let's go ahead and take a look at what we received so that way we can see does it make sense to still keep spending $15 a month on the Alert Beauty Box? Or mm, we can go try out another subscription. So if you're ready, let's keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing really do one. Okay guys, so the first one is going to be our April Alert Beauty Box. And this is a box that was curated with Carly Bible. I absolutely love and adore her. She is a very unproblematic YouTuber, but we're not here about that. So let's go ahead and see what she actually decided to put in our box for us. Of course, they're going to go ahead and give you like sneak peeks of upcoming boxes and stuff. This was my sneak peek for my May box. I already got my May box, so it makes no sense for me to do this. But of course, you guys know when you receive your subscription from a little video box, it's going to come in a pouch. So Carly chose a clear pouch for her collection. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And again, these are excellent pouches for you guys to travel and put your makeup in. So we're going to go ahead and take everything out that she gave us. First, the clear pouch. Always love these. So we're going to go ahead and look at one of the very first things she put in our box for us. And what I received was a full-size Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Pure Hollywood. This is stunningly beautiful. I already have one of these. Uh, yeah, I already have one of these out and open on my desk. But just so you guys are aware, you want to know what the color looks like. It's a really pretty nude mauve on my skin color. If you are lighter than me, then this starts to go more of a brawny, uh, brownie nude. And of course, if you're much, much deeper than me, then this is going to come off as a pinky nude on you. So these are really beautiful. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love her liquid lipsticks. So I think it's pretty great that I now have a backup of Pure Hollywood. Thank you, Carly, for that one. And that retails for $20. The next thing that we got in our box is coming in from Natasha Denona. And this is going to be one of her mono eyeshadows. I'm surprised by this one. I'm really surprised by seeing Natasha Denona and Denona in an Allure Beauty Box because this single shadow retails for $27. And I got the shade Obadi. It's A U B A A U B A D E. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but this is what it looks like when it comes in. And this is the shade. That is so beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch that. That's really pretty. Honest to God, if you are tan, medium skin, dark skin, deep, rich, this is a highlighter for you, boo. This is a highlighter. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. See that now that'll be simply stunning on the actual eyes beautiful on the eyes but of course on deeper and darker skins it's going to be a highlighter if you're lighter skin not super pale but lighter skin you can use a lighter hand with it to give it a really pretty sheen to your skin or of course you can go into the blinding area if that's something you like if you like gold highlighters 
then this one is definitely going to be the one for you. So, very happy about the Natasha Denona product that we received in. And the next thing that she gave us is going to be a Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush in Rose Gold. So, I love Luxie brushes. I use Luxie brushes all the time. They've sent us so many brushes in different kits throughout the years for us to actually use. I love Luxie brushes. This one, because it's a fluffy brush, it'll fit right in here to help blend out eyeshadow right above your crease and everything like that. So, this is always good. Anytime, any subscription box service that you subscribe to, anytime you see a Luxie brush, please believe it's going to be a good day because it's always connected with some type of eyeshadow product that they'll give you in that box. And this Luxie brush costs $12. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the next item. The next item that we gained, got in is coming from Laura Geller, and this is their incredible waterproof gel eyeliner. It retails for $22, and I did get the shade Ultraviolet, hmm. and it does have a sharpener right here on the end where you're able to resharpen your actual pencil, and mine came smushed. That's weird. That's really weird. See that? That's the way mine came. I'm like, what the deuce? Please don't be having no Jaclyn Hill issues. Jeez, I have got time for that. But okay, let's go ahead and swatch the color so you guys can see the color. It's very, very, it's very, very soft. So therefore it's breaking while I'm trying to use it. So, um, can be a little irritating. But let's go ahead and put some more down for you guys. This is really pretty. It has flecks of silver in it. It's a purple with flecks of silver. That sheen you see is the flecks of silver that's in it. That's really pretty. So that would be really, really pretty. I'm thinking like on a purple lip, since it's so soft and then it's supposed to be waterproof, I'm almost thinking that even though it's the eyeliner for your actual waterline, I would more or less use that on my actual lips and do a really pretty purple look with the actual lips. But this is pretty. I'm not happy that it's crumbling all over the place, but it's still a very pretty product. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next thing she gave us. She did go ahead and put in for us the Vita Liberata Phenomenal Organic Tan Infused Cloths. They are $39 for a pack of 16 and $25 for a pack of eight. We received a pack of two in this box. It's really supposed to help you tan for your face and body. Um, of course, I would never be using these because, yeah, I don't have a reason to tan. But, you know, this is really great for people who do tan and different things like that, who just want to get in and try to try it and try to see how it works. So I'm happy that she put this in there. She did tell us that she was putting this in our box for us. So I'm happy that I received this. And the last thing that I got in my box is the Briogeo Brio 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 <laughs> Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protected Cream. The full, the full size retails for $24. This is the travel size that we got. And yeah, in this Georgia heat, I don't know where you're located, but in this Georgia heat, boo, none of this stuff actually works. Not, not in the summertime because it's hot and it's humid. You walk outside, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a chia pet. And I don't care what type of hair you have. If you have, you know, more 1A, 2B type hair, or if you have 3B, 3C, 4A, 4C hair, it doesn't matter. Here in the Georgia heat, you're gonna be frizzy. So this is something that will really help tame you and work. I do use this. Um, I have a bigger one that I use in my hair products, but I only use this in like the fall winter in the beginning part of spring because after that point it has to be like a heavy gel a heavy cream a heavy wax or something to try to keep my hair together past that point i'm looking like a fluffy furry afro from the 70s so yeah no but this this is amazing this works really great if you're in a part of the country where you guys don't experience so much humidity like we have here in georgia then you would absolutely love this product but if you're here in georgia or if you're in florida boo this ain't for you not not doing the summertime. Fall, winter, and spring, yes. Summertime, 
pull it back in a ponytail, get some braids, put on a wig, do whatever you're gonna do. But yeah, this is not gonna keep your frizz away. Not in Georgia and not in Florida. Okay guys, so next we're rolling on to the May Allure Beauty Box. And this one actually came with an actual orange pouch. I really love these bright sun colors. And the other ones have the little snaps on the front. This one actually has a fold up. So here is your inside of your product. So let's go ahead and put this out so we can go ahead and take a look at it. And again, these little pouches are great for you guys to carry and to use your makeup. So this is gonna be amazing for you guys to use. And this month, our box is smooth sailing. Last month, I didn't tell you guys. Last month, the theme for last month was a uh, masterful selection. That's because of Carly Bible and yeah, everything's top notch. Any and everything she recommends outside of the tanning, I'll definitely go buy. But this month for smooth sailing, the very first thing they put in here for us, they put the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream in here, full size, retails for $35. This is going to be the travel size, and it's pretty much the moisture being of essence of wetness and wetness being the essence of beauty. So it's super, Laneige products, if you guys have never had a chance to try them, they are super moisturizing. They don't cause you to break out or have any allergies or anything like that. They're super hypoallergenic. And this is the actual cream. I've been wanting this cream to go ahead and try this cream for quite some time now. I just haven't, you know, forked out the big bucks for it. So I'm happy that I got it this month. So this way I'll try it. And if it turns out to be great, then you guys will see it in the upcoming Sephora haul. So I'm really happy about this first one that came in. The next item that we got in is from Central Pay. And this is their Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Gel. And it also is $44. And it also comes with the Central Pay Bronze Mitt. So you got a mitt to apply your self tanser to your body. And this pretty much is a bronzing water gel so I guess it goes on clear and within a few hours it starts to tan your skin it they say it doesn't stain your clothes and it'll give you a glistening wet texture so it lets you see and feel where you've applied it and then after that you start to smell the mix of fresh and tropical fragrance so it leaves no stink behind so you can use it in the morning and run around all day um, it is great for a subtle glow and it can be used a few days in a row for a deeper color So a deeper golden color So if you use it just like if you get up in the morning and take a shower and apply it with the mitt It'll give you a nice healthy glow Kind of a sun kiss slightly sun kiss look But if you use this every day back to back to back It'll start to deepen and give you a more deeper golden look so this is really pretty um again I won't be using it or doing anything with it because I don't have a need for any tanning products. But I know this is amazing because I know these products are pricey. Plus, they give you the free application mint with it. So, that's that's really great. The next thing that we got in is going to be from Model Co. And this is their Allies Metallic Shadow in St. Bart's. Um, retails for $12. And they did go ahead and give us the full size of this one. So, let's go ahead and swatch this one. I'm pretty sure it's just a bronzy champagne cream shadow. They says it dries fast, doesn't crease, and it won't rub off. We'll be the judge of that. We'll be the judge of that. So here is your little eye lights container. It looks like the Stilla um, liquid eyeshadows. And it applies like the Stilla liquid eyeshadows. So that's what it is. That is, that's, okay, okay, okay. Hold oh, please. Oh boo, that's pretty. Oh, oh boo, that's pretty. Now let's see just how, yeah. Once it dries, it dries. A little bit transferred down my hand. You can see how shining and pretty. Okay, I'm not flicking you guys off. <laughs> I'm definitely not flicking you guys off. But just a little bit of the shine right there on my finger. But that's what it looks like. You can see when I rubbed through it when it wasn't quite dry all the way how it left that little indentation. But you already see what it looks like on my eyes. I, I already knew exactly what I was going to use it for. To me, when I saw it, I was thinking like, 
cha-ching, in her eye highlight. So you guys can use this all over your lips. Imagine how pretty that will be all over your lips. And because it is a liquid eyeshadow, when you go in and blend through your crease and you do your outer V, all you have to do is just take this on and just slide it across and it automatically cuts your crease for you. Before it dries, go in and blend out the edges of the liquid eyeshadow with the deeper shade you use so it creates a really pretty gradient. And this is the simplest, easiest eye look for the most part that you'll be able to do when you use liquid eyeshadows. So I'm really happy about that. I really love that. I almost want to go buy some more shades because that inner eye, that inner eye highlight, pop it pop it and I'm here for it the next thing that we got in our box is La Ritzy La Ritzy Cosmetics La Ritzy girl don't give me the line I'm gonna leave the information on the screen but this is their lip gloss and vibe it retails for $20 and they say they said just make sure your lips are smooth and not chapped so you don't have any issues with it they say that is sheer with warm tones for more modern, more flattering. Take on the classic sex kit and lip color. Blah, 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 blah. It's a new gloss. So let's go in here and see how this actually works. And this is a full size. I'm surprised by this one. But this is what it looks like. And it looks a lot like my Anastasia gloss. This is Anastasia. This is Laritzi. And let me see. Yeah, it looks a lot like my glosses I already have. This is ColourPop uh, Sueno de Coco with I Love Sari. So let's go in here and see exactly how this one is going to come to play because this looks like, <sighs> smells like vanilla, artificial vanilla. You know how artificial vanilla has that kickback smell? Like you first smell vanilla, then you smell artificial. So it's not that bad, but let's see how it goes on in the fly. Oh, that's pretty. The fact that it still has that pigment, it's, it's that pigmented, and I am darker complected. So the fact that it still gives that much pigment into it is amazing. So this will be pretty. This nude is like a milky, pinky, brownie nude on women who are tan, deep, dark, rich. And on lighter skin, this is going to be more of a brownie nude for you when you actually put it on. And it does have that little well right there in the lip. It does have a little well right here in the lip where it holds product. So when you're going across your lips and using it on your lips, you're not having to constantly dunk back in. So I'm here for it. I like this one. I'm very much so here for this. So far, I'm very pleased with the Maybox. The next thing that we got in is by Lu. Lu. You okay? I'm gonna leave the information on the screen. You know, Lynn can't pronounce stuff, so we're gonna leave the information on the screen. But this is by John C. Res. Okay, this is by John, and I guess this is the CEO Erase Cleansing, Exfoliating, and Brightening Powder. Oh, it's by John Seal. 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 See. Here we go again, Lynn. I believe the information on the screen. Okay, guys. So this is Loe Lou by John Seo. 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 Okay, so this is their Race Cleansing, Exfoliating, and Brightening Powder. And I'm all here for this. They say mix a, table, a tablespoon of Erase with half a tablespoon of water to form a paste. Kind of like the Tasha rice water thing that you washed with. And apply the face and let it dry for a minute. While still jam damp. Gently massage away. Paste should come off like eraser peels. Taking blackheads and reducing large pores. Add a drop of water to continue erasing if paste dries. Use twice a week as needed. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to see if it helps with this uh, heat rash that I got going on and everything. But, uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to follow up on this. The thing with uh, skincare, I don't follow up the next month when it comes to skincare unless it just immediately didn't work for me or it immediately broke me out. The thing with skincare, you really need to be using your skincare typically 60 to 90 days to really see some real results. So, I'll follow back up with you guys and see how this works. I'm excited about it. And this actually retails for $15. So I'm really happy that I was able to see and get this. The last thing that came in our box is from Nunzio 
Saviano. And this is the anti-frizz sheets. And this is $18 for a box of 15. They gave us two. So pretty much what you're able to do is just take these sheets and put it through your hair and get rid of frizz. Let's see if this works on Afro hair. We got two. This one and this one. So let's see if this works on Afro hair. Hmm, it's wet. That's, that's weird. But they say it tames flyaways and reduces frizz. And these are soaked in coconut oil and with just a few swipes, they help smooth condition and tame my double processed hair. She's saying she had double processed hair and this is what she used to help with that. So she throws these in her gym bag when she's traveling, different things like that. If you just want to go ahead and get rid of flyaways. So let's see if this works. Let's go ahead and bring you guys in. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. We're going to take this little section up here that just, okay, come on, hair. Okay, so this is the fizzy part of my hair. Let's just see if this works. Let's just see if it works on. Um, Let's just see. Let's just see. Well, let's just see. We found something to help us in this Georgia heat. Let's just see. You ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. 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 Um. Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, um, no. Okay, um, okay, um, this don't work on African-American hair. So if you have uh, Afro hair, um, if you're Afro-Latina, or if you have thick wavy hair from the Middle East, or if you're black or any variation of black or have black in you and you experience big, poofy, furry, fuzzy hair, okay, this doesn't work on our hair types, okay? So, um... Yeah, um, I'm looking in the monitor, like, and I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm like, whoa, uh, okay. Yeah, so, you know, the beautiful things about getting these boxes and being able to go through it and play with it, you know, you try to figure out, hey, if it's certain things in the box that you may like that you may want to get, or if it's something, you know, because I've tried it on myself that you're like, yeah, boo, that's not going to work. I'm pretty sure some of you guys were sitting there looking at the screen like, Lynn, you know that we're gonna work on your hair. But, you know, I still wanna try it because sometimes, sometimes, I'm gonna tell you right now, especially for uh, people of color, whether you're Latina descent, um, Hispanic descent, you're um, Afro descent, or if you're Middle Eastern or anything like that, when you have thick, curly hair, it, hair that just does stuff like this, you would be surprised how certain products that are geared more or less toward Caucasian hair can actually work on our hair too as far as moisture or holding your hairstyle. More often than not, it's a mess. It's a complete mess. They use a lot of sulfates and everything that are good for our hair. But some of their products are actually really, really great on our hair. Case in point, the Aussie Moist Conditioner. If that don't be the best pre-poo treatment, I don't know what is, but yeah. Had to try it out just to see if it would work for you guys. So this way you guys know. So that was the May box. Now let's go ahead and get into this June box. Let's see what's going on with our June Allure box. So this is our June Allure box. And this month's theme is going to be... Ooh, I see some good stuff. 
I see some good stuff. Okay, so this month's box is going to be a refresher course. So we're going to try to get you back on track. And they're going to give you more tips, tricks, and special offers. Hmm, okay, whatever. Okay, so the first thing that comes in is the brow gal, and this is their eyebrow pencil by Tanya Crooks. You guys know how much I love her and use her products. Not, I, it's, let me show you. This brow powder, the brow trio by Tanya Crooks, I always use this. You guys always see me use this in my videos. So her brand can do no wrong as far as I'm concerned. I love that. And she also has the little brow thickening fibers by Tanya Crooks that she used. So I'm an avid Tanya Crooks fan. I'm an avid The Brow Gal fan. Um, this retails to $23. So let's go ahead and look at this pencil. Oh. And they also give you a $20 gift towards your full price order on Bubble Bar. So if you guys shop on Bubble Bar and you want $20 off, use the code Allure. 14Z8888H. I'm going to leave the information on the screen for you guys because I won't be placing that order. But you know, one of you guys probably can and use it. And in the June box, they also sent us this little summer glow guide. What is this? Well, they pretty much just give you a whole bunch of discounts and stuff. Like, uh, that's the one thing I will tell you guys about Allure Beauty Box. They also send you discounts for other things that you could actually use. This is pretty much clothing and swimwear and different things like that. Of course, jewelry and intimates. So you do get discounts on that. Plus, the most brands that actually go into your Allure Beauty Box will send you a discount code so you're able to go to their site and use anywhere between 10 to 20% off to purchase a full-size product if they didn't provide a full-size product in here. So that's always a good thing. So this month... They're giving us the green bag, and I'm not sure if this is a summer design that they're doing with these flaps, or if they had complaints of people not liking the little snap pack, the snap clothes pouches. I prefer the snap pouches. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of these sliding vinyl pouches. But anyway, this lime green is so on trend, honey. So yeah, they're hitting out the box that. So let's go ahead and dump everything out. And let's go ahead and pull out the first item. So again, this is great for makeup and travel, guys. The first item we got is my Tanya Crooks, the brow gal. It comes with the personal sharpener right here on the top of the lid for you. And of course, the pencil is not my shade. In brown 04. And it goes more of an ash brown. This is the pencil. Okay, turn around, Lynn, so people can see. Okay, this is the pencil right here on my hand. This is the pencil, guys. Ahem. On me, it won't work because my hair is so dark to where this would just, it's not going to work for me, unfortunately. So, I don't know. Maybe on days where I done went too dark with it, I'm able to go ahead and use this. And on the other side, it does have a spoolie. I'm not really sure how this is going to work for most of you guys because... Let's see if you guys can see that. You see how the pencil is exposed? So over time, wouldn't the tip of your pencil dry out if it's constantly exposed like that? Um, I, that may be a small design flaw. I don't know. I mean, I can't use it. I won't be able to do anything with it because obviously my brows, my hair is black, my brows are black. So something that soft of a brown won't work on my eyebrows so let's go ahead and go on to the next one by the way this was 23 dollars. this is the first thing that i couldn't use and the only reason why i couldn't use it is just simply because of the actual shade of the actual pencil i don't know you know maybe i could put it in the front and try to see if it lightens a little bit but i, I don't know guys let's go ahead and take a look at the next one the next thing that we got in oh now this it's a happy product. Next thing that we got in is the Moroccan oil treatment. Full size is 44. Of course, we got in a small travel size. Boom. I use my Sally, my Queen Helen's high oil treatment from Walmart. And I literally dump this whole thing in there as I'm heating up my hot oil and use this as a hot oil treatment on my hair. I'm pretty sure, you know, you're supposed to do this. 
you know, after, you know, while your hair is still damp, put a little oil on the ends or all over, depending on how your hair reacts to oil. Or if you want to re-moisturize your hair throughout the week, you may want to put a little bit of this on your ends. I don't use it for any of those purposes. I always just take and dump the entire thing with my Queen Helen's Hot Oil Treatment, the white box that comes with the three tubes. Let me show you. Okay, guys, this is what I'm talking about. The Queen Helen Cholesterol, the hot oil treatment that come with three tubes in it. I'll take and open all three of these because my hair is so thick and whatever. <sighs> thick hair problems. But I'll take and open up all three of these and dump this in it. And I'll do that twice a month as far as the hot oil treatment is concerned. So I'm happy that I got these because I only had two left. So I'm happy for these. The next thing that we got in was the Eel... The Eel Thermal Avene Thermal Spring Water. And this is a hydrating facial mist. And it retails full size for $18.50. So let's go ahead and open this. And actually see exactly how this sprays out and how this works. They do go ahead and give you Allure 20 as a discount. Most of these places is Allure 20 for a discount. Check it out if you want to go ahead and purchase the full thing. Let's go ahead and see it. It don't smell like anything. It smells like water. Okay, this could be a disaster. You know what? This whole video, I've showed you things. So let's go ahead and see if you can miss this on top of makeup. Now, I have oily skin, so this would probably be the death of my makeup right now. But I'm almost thinking if you have dry skin or a combination skin that leans kind of dry, this would be perfect for you to take throughout the day. Especially during the summertime when you leave the gym after you finish washing your face as you get out to your car. It's hot as heck walking from the gym to your car. As you sit in your car and you roll down your windows and let all the heat out and your air starts to blow, take and miss this. I'm pretty sure this will be amazing. But let's just see what it looks like on top of makeup because we have some other things to go now. In three minutes, if one of my eyelashes slide off or some crazy go on, just know it's this. But let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see. It's just water. Wait, where are the ingredients? Tells me the lab is made in. That's pretty good. Jacqueline Cosmetics didn't tell us her lab. But, uh, yeah, let's not go there. Um, where are the ingredients? Oh, ingredients is... They don't list the ingredients down here. That's, that's super weird. Yeah, it's thermal spring water. But you would think that it would have it and it doesn't okay that's weird okay whatever let's go ahead and do it it definitely it definitely made me uh very very dewy and glowy let's go ahead and let that dry and let's see what happens okay so that's what it looks like while i let it dry and it does make me look more hydrated it doesn't make me look oily or anything it's definitely not an oily look it's just a healthy glow. Like uh, for you oily girls, you know how when your oils first start to come through and it's just a nice healthy glow before you run into looking like a chicken grease slick, you know, before you get to that point. So this is a very healthy glow that it gave. Hmm, not bad at it. Not mad at it at all. Hmm. Can't say that I complained so far, so good. No problems. Did just... just a really healthy glow. It looks like I eat my vitamins. Well, I eat my vegetables, I take vitamins, and I drink water. You know, not always, but you know. Mm, I like it. So let's go on to the next one. Let's see. That'll have time to really work on my face, and we'll see. The next thing that we got in now, this. Now, this, this, this is something. We got in from Floss. This is my new favorite lip gloss. This retails for $16. And they say the Dofa applicator spreads the gloss on easily without creating a sticky mess. Blah, 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 blah. It's supposed to have a high shine. It's a gloss. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see how this actually works. And is this a clear gloss? I don't know if I got the shade Yule or is that just what it says? Okay, I'm going to guess it's a shade Yule or that's just what it is. I don't know. So this is what it looks like coming out the tube. It's a clip tube, like back in the day, you know, your lip smokers and stuff that used to come in the tubes. So you have the dose of the applicator side, and it comes out. Smells like vanilla. 
with a little bit of a fake after scent so it smells like fake vanilla okay not a problem let's go ahead and swatch it up here and let's just see how this gloss is this is one of those glosses where you're gonna have to dip back in the tube to get more product but that's a really pretty clear gloss let's go ahead and it's sticky they said it wasn't supposed to be sticky but it's sticky and it doesn't give you like a high shine it gives more of a it's a shine but you see that that's a high shine that is more of a as natural as can be humanly possible shine it looks like you have freshly carmax your lips basically it's not going to give you the type of shine like what i have on now it's not going to go that high with the shine but it is pretty i can definitely see using this throughout your day just depending on what look you're going for so this is it right here guys and i don't really see anything wrong with it per se um it is sticky so the problems I have with sticky glosses that I don't like when it comes to sticky glosses is if your hair is down, you'll be talking to when it'll be blowing out, so it'll get in your mouth and you'll be having one of those white chick moments. Remember when the hair got in your mouth? Like, <laughs> when the hair, yeah, you're going to have a white chick's moment. So, okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. The next one we got in is from Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. Hmm. They say this eye cream is slightly cooling and you can use it for midday touch-ups and they just simply pat it over their concealer. Huh. And they say ignore the name because it's not a cream, it's a gel. It dries quickly but not tightly and I noticed a slight depuffing and subtle brightening immediately after using it. The active ingredients are vitamin C and E, star antioxidants that guard against pigmentation and collagen breakdown. This is $35, guys, and this is a full-size product. So, you know, let's go ahead and use it. It comes out like a little white milky cream. You see it right there? Well, maybe I should do it on the hand that I actually put my eye creams on with. And she say it won't take off your concealer. Obviously, I'm not finna sit here and pat on a whole lot like I'm crazy. It did. It took it off. Okay. You guys see that right there? Where it did take off my concealer. straight on you can really see it see how it looks like uh, I have a slight black eye or something happening right here it's because it took off my concealer God darn it. but let's see does it give me any type of brightening effect do I notice any brightening over that side hmm? no not really the only thing I noticed is that you know it took off took off my damn concealer can you guys see that Right there where I took off my concealer. Already. Okay, so maybe this is something I should use underneath my eyes. So where I don't have this problem with it happening on top of my eyes. Let's see, is this something that is easily corrected? Let's see if we can easily fix that. This is just my Juvia's Place Concealer in shade 14 with the brush I used to put it on with. And let's go ahead and set that down with the Kalahari Juvia's Place Setting Powder, which I used to set down my makeup anyway prior to filming. So let's just see if this works. Um... <laughs> Okay, so, okay, so this is, okay, so I don't know if it completely brightened like that because I'm just applying new powder to it or if that eye cream has anything to do with the brightening properties because this side clearly looks a whole lot smoother and brighter than this side. So let's go in and try to even this out. 
Yeah, I'm thinking it was the powder. I'm not, okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go ahead and dust away any excess powder. You know what, now will probably be a perfect time to use that water. Okay, should I be doing that with my mascara and everything? Okay, you guys already know. If by the end of this video I'm looking a hot mess, then you know, whatever. Maybe I should let this dry. Let me let this dry a minute. Okay. So it's still drying. The little water. Okay. Okay. So my hair don't want to cooperate. Okay. Whatever. So it's still drying. This side looks a little bit more plump and hydrated than this side over here. So this is the side with the product on it. And this is the side without the product. Do I recommend you putting this over your concealer? No. Mm -hmm. No. For the people in the back, no. But would I try this underneath my concealer? Yes. You bet your bottom dollar. The next time I do my makeup, I'm going to try that underneath my concealer just to really try to see how it looks. Because this side that I put it on looks a whole lot more plump and subtle. Like, it just looks like, rawr. And this side over here, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it, it's still pretty. But since I actually did it live on camera... Can you actually tell the difference in between the two eyes? Leave a comment for me in the description box below. But last thing that we got in our box is the S SGX NYC. They're present presenting their new Do It All Dry Shampoo Meets Hairspray. So this is a three-in-one dry texture spray. It's supposed to give you volume, refresh, and hold. Well. Why not, guys? I already got to wash my hair anyway. Like, it is coming up on a wash day. But let's not be completely crazy. Okay, so let's see if it works. Let's see if it gives me that white cast. Okay, well, so let's, let's, let's just see. Yeah, I know it smells. It smells amazing, guys. This thing smells amazing. I mean, it's not like I needed any more volume anyway. And it didn't give me that white cast. On my black hair, it didn't give a white cast or anything. So let's go ahead and just see. Let's go ahead and get this stuff. Uh, okay, so my hair just, you know, whatever. Okay. Oh, it does. It, it, it gives the grittiness as of a texturizer. If you guys have used the texturizer before, you know how you can feel that grittiness there. It doesn't mean your hair feels like sand. It just means you can feel the grittiness of it. Well, you know, it didn't do anything for my frizz, but let's just see. And it smells amazing. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh. Hello, big hair, don't care. Okay. Uh, okay. Whatever. Okay. So that's it, volumize. Ooh. Oh. Okay, guys. If you see this, get it. Get it, get it, get it. And this was just something free that they put into our box. Well, you know, we pay for our box, but this is something free that they put into our box, and I don't see a price on this. But of everything that I have received, of everything that I have got in, this is my number one item. This is my number two item. And looking into the other boxes, the Natasha Denona is one that I love as well. And yeah, I mean, for the most part, overall, and this little bugger right here, I'm sitting up here talking crap. Boom. It literally just melted my makeup. Like, not melted it off my face, but it just airbrushed my makeup. Like, okay, so we're not going to keep going to the side. We'll go to the to the side without the heat rash so it looks better. So, melted, boo. Completely melted. Like, loving, completely loving that. You know, side with the heat rash. This... This hairspray, I, I'm buying this. And this Avene, the Eau Thermale Avene, Eau Thermale Thermal Spring Water. I'm so stupid, but whatever. I'm, yes, 
Yes, I thought it was gonna make me like oily since I'm an oily skin girl, but it just leaves a healthy glow behind. And my face doesn't feel tight or anything. My face feels, yeah, my face feels amazing. And the little small lines I had here where my makeup had started to settle into it. Go. Thermal spring water. Y'all been hiding from me, okay. I, I, okay, boo, expect to see this in upcoming videos. But yeah, guys, this is everything from my April, May, and June beauty box with Allure Beauty. And can I tell you, boo, uh, it is definitely worth my $15 a month. It just means, you know, that's one less trip to Chick-fil-A. I could afford that. I could afford to not go to Chick-fil-A one time to get this box. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Don't, don't, don't judge my order because I know you're trying to count up well, if a number one large is eight dollars and some change, what did Lynn get to get fifteen? I get the cup of ice cream too. Okay, don't don't judge me. And a four piece nugget, but don't judge me. Anyway, so this is everything for the Hilar Beauty Box. I'm I'm all in. I've always been all in, but I wanted to just take a step back and just do an assessment of what I was spending versus what I was getting to see, hey, does this actually make sense? And this uh, this dry shampoo and this little spray water thing, I love these boxes because it gives me a chance to see brands and to see products that I may have never known about walk past this Sephora like, boo, what is that? I'm gonna keep walking, that's not what I came to get. So this introduces me to different products. It opens me up to a variety of different things that I could do with my hair, my skin, and my makeup. And I'm here for that. And plus, you know, these travel bags are always a great addition anytime you're going anywhere, even if it's a weekend trip or, excuse me, or, you know, if you carry this and put your makeup in it throughout the actual day. I love these. Absolute perfect. And again, I'll leave, I leave. I left all the information on the screen so you guys can get a discount and a free gift from Allure for signing up for their Allure Beauty Box if you use my stuff. But again, thank you so much for watching this video and spending time with me. And as always, and until next time, have a beautiful day, YouTube.